Yes. Hi there, friends. There has been some snow falling lately. Uh, which is nice. Some snow there, some snow on the tower. And um, I thought I should um, show you the sauna. It's not really finished, but then again, I don't think any of my projects ever get finished. Um, I just keep on improving them. And, uh, but this is how far I've gotten until now. And uh, I have some, uh, yeah, well, some features I would like to show you. Okay, let's go see. how it looks now. I've decorated it a bit. Um, both the pillar in the middle and and the walls put in some candlelight which I think is nice and of course the infamous LED lights light emitting diodes. I always say LAD. Well well okay. So I have a doorway here, and the outside of the door there's moose hide. Um, and it's a double door. It works like this. I close the bottom one and the top one closes as well. And if I want to open them again, I open the bottom one. And the top one follows. So it's pretty nice. Yes. So this is supposed to be a sauna and you can't have a sauna without steam. So I've uh, fired up the old stove. I painted this stove with uh, an aluminum based color um, which can take a lot of heat. And I've preheated it many times so it doesn't, no fumes comes uh, out from it um, anymore. Um, and I've built something that I again found on the internet, naturally, um, which is uh, a coil, um, uh, a, co a, a coil, a tube. It's a um, copper tube. I bought it and uh, I filled it with water and it froze and I made a coil inside the fireplace like that so the tube goes from this kettle which is filled uh, with water and I have a small uh, well open valve there and it goes the water goes down into the coil it starts uh, boiling and it comes out there. This is always uh, quite exciting because it's sort of the beginning of a steam engine just without the engine. It's just for creating the steam and it's a bit scary and I'll show you. So I'll open the valve just very carefully and it starts steaming. <laughs> quite a bit of steam coming out there 
Um, I think I'll have to protect my camera if I'm going to put any more out. Of course I could do that. But you can hear the... <laughs> it, it's like it's alive. Just let me put the camera in the protecti protective uh, house in here. Yes, and uh, the idea is that uh, I, um, I will have water coming in from the outside into the kettle and I'll uh, put this on uh, a bit more and uh, very hot water will run out that valve uh, or that um, thing and into my bath. Now you can see the hot water coming out. Of course, it will take a very long time because before the the tub uh, fills up. But eventually, I want to have a sort of a pump, pumping the water from the bathtub um, through the system and out in the bathtub again, so it slowly heats up. Yes, so here from the steam in the sauna, I wish you all a happy new year and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye all you crazy builders out there. Yes, so the plan is to lay here in the bathtub. Um, <clears throat> I'll collect um, water from the outside. And, um, well, I have a plan to, to um, collect the water inside uh, a water tank on top of my stove. And it's heated up and it's poured into here. And, um, yeah. It'll be a right Roman Viking bath sauna uh, slash finish, perhaps. I have no idea. And I don't really care that much. I'm just looking forward to it being finished. Although it's sort of finished. I just have to wait until spring to fill the bathtub with water or else it will really just freeze. And then I would have to wait until spring anyway. <laughs>